Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together, but first pause it. This is a question about a cone. Sketch it out. Give it a shot. You can do it. All right, so let's read the problem. A cone has a radius of 1.2 inches. Okay, so it's about a cone. I'm going to draw the cone. The way I draw a cone, uh, I just draw a triangle. And instead of a straight line at the bottom, I just draw a little circle. And then I draw something similar with dots in the background. This is my cone. So I draw the cone because I want to begin to plug the information in right away. The radius is right here, right? And that's r. So the radius is r equals 1.2 inches. And then the height is 2.9 inches. So the height's going straight up here, right, h. So h equals 2.9 inches. All right, so they want to know what is the volume to the nearest tenth of a cubic inch. They, and they, they're having us round because we're going to be using pi here. And when they say round, wait to the very, very last step to round your, your, estimate, your, <coughs> your number. So don't round pi. Um, leave pi as itself, or as close to an approximation of pi as you can get on your calculator, and then round the very last step. So the cone, um, if you remember, um, or if you've never heard this before, I'll tell you, the cone fills a third of a corresponding cylinder. What does that mean? That means if we put a cylinder on top of this cone, just like this, and they have the same base, the same height, the cone right, would hold less than the cylinder, and what it would hold is exactly a third of the cylinder. Right? So you can try to imagine that. The cone holds a third of a cylinder with equal height and base. Why am I telling you this? Well, this is how I always think about the formula for the volume of a cone. Because a cylinder is essentially a circle, pi r squared, times height. And a cone is one-third of that. So that's our form, formula for the volume of a cone. So for the volume of a cone, we have pi times radius squared, so 1.2 squared, times 2.9, times 1 third. So the volume of a cone equals this, and then, <coughs> excuse me, on our calculator, find your pi button, I hit second, and this right here, the little carrot button, and then I multiply it, put my parentheses 1.2 to the carrot, that means exponent, so, and then I enter 2 for second power, press right, close my parentheses, and then I like using parentheses, so 2.9, close parentheses, and times parentheses 1 divided by 3. Uh, a third is just 1 divided by 3, so I enter that. It gives me my number 4.373, so it's about 4.373. They want it to the nearest tenth, so it's 4.4. Choice B. All right, I hope this helped.